What up, party people? Welcome back to another episode of Controversial Album Covers. This is episode number five. Episode number five. Today we're going to talk about Moby Grape's self-titled debut album that came out in 1967. In case you're wondering, they got their name from the children's joke, What's Large and Purple and Swims in the Ocean? Moby Grape. Horrible. It's hard to believe that a band that named themselves after a children's joke would have a controversial album cover, but they did in fact, and here's why. If you look closely, that is Don Stevenson on the front of the washboard, and he is flipping the Bird. In 1967, flipping the Bird was no buenos. So they decided to airbrush that out. Um, so there are two versions. There's one with the middle finger and one without the middle finger. Um, but if whichever one you have, check it because it came with a poster, and they didn't always switch out the posters with the airbrushed one. So you may have a poster that has the middle finger on it. Um, the value on it, if you go on eBay or Discogs, they're gonna try to gouge you for it, but this is common. I mean, I see the middle finger, if not as much, if not as much as the non-middle finger or airbrush middle finger, even more so. I mean, I see this, I actually have three copies of it right now with the middle finger, so uh, no posters in any of them, but, uh, so the poster's the rare part, but keep an eye out, look for it. Also, the other thing to be concerned with or to look for on this is if you look behind uh, the guitarist Skip Spence right here, you'll see a flag. That flag is a dual tone red flag. It's actually a, a US flag, so it should be red and white. They airbrushed it red on the original cover because of the climate, political climate in the US in 67 wasn't so hot and they were afraid that uh, with the flag burning and the draft and the yada yada yada, it wouldn't sell albums. The hippies wouldn't buy the album, so they just made it red so it didn't look like the US flag. But then they realized, even worse, is that all red flag might be construed as communist, and they certainly didn't want that, so the record execs couldn't figure out so what they were going to do. So on subsequent presses, they airbrushed the middle finger out, and the flag is now black. Um, it doesn't really change the whole value on it. Like I said, uh, Discogs will try to... Discogs and eBay will try to gouge you on it, but it's super common. Uh, outside of that, this was originally shot in Junk Teaks, an antique store in the main drag of Fairfax, California, which is right next door to Midland Facts, California. Uh, the photographer for this is Jim Marshall. If you don't know who Jim Marshall is, you've probably never looked at an album cover credits in your entire life. He is rock and roll royalty. He has over 500 album covers to his name. Uh, if you're familiar with Woodstock, he was the head photographer there, so most of his pictures are there. He was the photographer, official photographer, for the Beatles' last concert at Candlestick. Uh, if you're familiar with this image, yeah, that's Jim Marshall. He is anything and everything. He shot Neil Young album covers, Janis Joplin, The Doors, Grateful Dead, Theolonious Monk, Miles Davis, everybody. So... Keep a lookout for it, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and share for more videos. We put them up at least once or twice a week, and we will continue to do so. Thanks, as always, SpatulaCityRecords.com.